Welcome back to another episode of reviewing our cars. You our guys cars. seem to really like taking a look at our employees' cars, so we wrangled up a few more of them because we got a bunch in the lot. And we're gonna start this episode off with Trey's Trey. STI. Uh, wheels, tire, suspension, fitministries.com. If you want your car reviewed in an episode because you're not here right now, even though we wish you were, fitministries.com forward slash add to get your car in the gallery. And then we'll give her a good old review ski. But let's hop right into this and take a look at Trey's STI. So this is a 2012 Subaru WRX STI. She has a little bit of a rich history too. How rich? So I will tell you how rich. It's so rich, it's lean. It blew up not only once, <laughs> but twice so rich, it's and now he has the third rebuilt engine in there making about 450 horse on flex fuel hopefully it's able to hit like 10,000 miles before blowing up maybe you can enjoy it for a little bit yeah, so my we, favorite piece of information is that yeah. the engine blew up at 72,000 miles super yep. replaced that engine with a factory oem engine nothing yeah. done to it 8,000 miles later that one blew up and now this one how many miles are on this one trey 5,000? 5,000. Right, See? Gonna, so we're going to hope for 10. Yeah, I'm hoping We're going to hope 10. for 10. <laughs> okay. I wasn't going to jinx anything, but so I was like, this one may be less. Starting off, we got the good old quad turbo set up quad turbo? yeah you can see the quad turbos right through the grill there Damn. no apparently with supers they just they love to honk they're big honker guys <laughs> big honkers. they want to honk louder than anyone else on the road um checking out we have a cob thing front quarter plate so uh, weight reduction it's only yeah. a quarter of the so plate it's a cob license plate replacement <laughs> he's from louisiana and louisiana you just do cob license plate i don't know all yeah, right so we got a louisiana sticker come over here we're on cane coilovers which is nice gels runs those too yeah i think um, they're the flex z's i run the flex z's um i like them now he said that they ride pretty good he likes them but they are a little bit on the stiff side but he said that's surprising. due to running a bit of an aggressive setup with these Cosmos Racing MR7s. As you can see, if you come here and look, they are right in line with the fence. Like, you're gonna rub a little bit. So he has the dampening set up on these a little bit, so they are a little bit stiffer, yeah. not as much rub action going on, but you'll still get a little bit of that when uh, you're doing some spirited blow up engine driving. What are we running for tires on here? You got some uh, Zenus. FR5. A penis? A Zenus. Oh. All right, so tire size, you got some Falcons on here, 245, 35. Fenders rolled and pulled, make some extra room because, yeah, 18 by 9 plus 25 is pretty aggressive. But in typical Subaru fashion, yeah. mud flappers. flappers. So when you're flapping mud. <laughs> so again, this thing is making some decent power and it's on a flex fuel tune, so you can run E85. Has that oh. good old corn smell to it. Hey. Does some pops and crackles. Me and you can both take a crack at this oh, one. Oh, quad fist challenge! Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm yep. in it. I'm in it too. I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. How do we get out now? Uh, Step bro. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I always uh, do this, uh, my hands are dirty. dirty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, anyways. Anyway, yeah, got you that see, you got way. the Louisiana plate on there because he just moved up not too recently. If you didn't know, Trey is our social media guy. He works on answering some of your questions and all that good stuff. He drives the Super Duo RX. We got the uh, pair and wing risers, shark wing fin risers, diffuser yeah. things. Yeah, you got to do that. You know why they do this? Why is that? I was asking. I don't know why they do it. I don't know. Okay, every all right. Subaru has them. Yep. Okay, I, I think they look. To cool. be honest, like it does it. look I good, like but I, I think it's completely pointless. But <laughs> I put a ton of pointless stuff on my car. So Trey's probably gonna squirm a little bit, but I want to see the interior. Uh oh. And we're gonna go in from the passenger side. Uh oh. Oh, Crusty. stinky. Now, this is a beautiful car. It sounds awesome. It makes some decent power, but the hydro dipping worked as good as about the first two engines. <laughs> so, that's a little bubble, little crinkled. We got the cob shift knob. Cob knob. Cob knob, cob corn on the cob knob. But I don't, I don't mind the white interior accents. It doesn't look that bad, but however, you can kind of see how hydro dipping played out. I've never done hydro dipping. So that supposed to be like a white carbon? Yeah. Okay. It was something. But yeah, that's about it on the interior. Trey, you want to pop the hood real quick? Anyways, okay. So as you can see, we got the Tain top hats, of course. But what's interesting is the still got the top mount intercooler, not running the front mount. Any reason behind that, Trey? It holds the power. Holds the power. Oh, okay. Oh, what about the first two? 
<laughs> I got a lot of Perrin stuff. Perrin, Cobb, and Duralast. Duralast. Platinum. Grim Speed. You don't even I need like that it. fancy of a battery in Louisiana. It doesn't even get cold down there. Oh, yeah, we're talking this flex fuel. That's good. Yep. That's really cool. I'm ready that's to good, rate it. It's good stuff, man. I'm ready I to like rate it. it. Yeah, I like the car. I'm not big, huge, massive Subaru guy, but I can recognize when one's done well, and this ain't it. Let's rate it. <laughs> Dude, I'm just kidding. I'm joking. I just love busting trays yeah. balls. All right, ready? He chose to be out here. Yeah. <laughs> um, let me get a number in my head. Oh, one second before we rate it. Uh oh. I want you to take the hydro dip into consideration. Okay. And then this paint chip on the rear bumper Wait, because whoa, whoa, Trey whoa. always tells me about it. I thought that was just some schmutz. It is. It's permanent schmutz. Perma schmutz. Perma schmutz. All right, All now right. we can rate it. <laughs> that was mean. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, eight, eight and, and a half. half. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. <laughs> that work? Just want to make Maybe sure I was rating better? it good. Yeah. Okay. All right, next car. <laughs> All right, we got car number two, and we have Sawyers. He works in customer service, helping you guys out find your fitment. 2009 Honda Civic Si, and I have always been a sucker for this body Same. style. I don't I know why. Love I've always these. wanted one. Yeah, I, I, they look so damn good. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So <sighs> we got airlift performance, three-piece three suspension. Winning some brownie points with the boy already. <laughs> and then we got the Heritage Hokkaidos. These look really good on here. Big fan, the fitment spot on. Now he was almost reluctant to give us the car, let us review it because he said, bro, I got a carbon fiber trunk coming in. That's getting, getting installed, installed like, later tonight. today. Yeah. And then my camber arms, those are in the next couple of days. They're so literally I can, sitting right here. He's like, I want to air it out <laughs> in the rear. So yeah, we actually have the car camber, parts yeah. in there. <laughs> They're literally sitting right. This is what he needs to get that rear fitment dialed in. Yeah. Just slam it on the ground. Parts are sitting in there, but uh, we'll do it another day. So he's got it. I believe him. Good news is I want to rip him a new one anyways. We'll get it on driver to driver and we'll go over all that fancy <laughs> stuff. But reviewing it how it is today, I think a Honda Civic Si with parts in the passenger seat's about as good as you get. You know yeah. what I'm saying? The only um, thing we're missing is the Blitz body kit, some green underglow. Oh baby, and some and VCRs. And some VCRs. Yeah. That was a Fast and Furious reference. That was. All right, <laughs> we got. At, uh, let's see the mods. So we talked about the suspension. We talked about the wheels. Mm -hmm. Oh, what what tires so we got on here? Nitto Neo Gens. Yep. So these are 18 by 9 and that plus 22s and then 215 35 tires so a little bit of a stretch but obviously running the air suspension on there you're gonna have that now little cheat code for stance guys nitto neogens are a fantastic choice um they stretch really well yeah. and not only that but the inner wall of the tire is a little thicker than the rest of the tire and that's to help with camber wear um so they're affordable they stretch good and they have that inner wear they're a great tire i use them on everything i put them on my focus i put them on my gti Perfect. um I've had really good luck with them. Yeah, those are I've, usually your go-to. Yeah, yeah, I even ran them in the winter. Not necessarily what I'd recommend, but it <laughs> did get me Wagoon? through. Yeah, I had them on the Wagoon too. But let's check out the NVIDIA N1 exhaust, and you already know we got a fist test. All right, up. Oh, I'm up? All right, I can do it. My knuckles are still dirty. All right. I don't mind getting dirty for the YouTubes. All right, there we go. Right. Camera guy, you getting this? <gasps> oh, 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 it's hot! Oh, oh. <laughs> it's not that bad. It just scared me a little. <laughs> we pass. Jules, what are you doing? Sorry. <laughs> oh, Dude, I'm gonna have to wash my hands. Hell yeah. All right, so this is a low FG2. What's low for, all right. <laughs> so I don't know what these are. What do you think these are? Uh, is there a little factory wing or something? There was that absolutely was probably like a factory wing on here. I like or, this one. I like this no, one. I would imagine. But I think the carbon trunk that he has going on is yeah. going to be killer. He said it has kind of like the duck bill on like it. Like mine. But it's not here, so we got to read it with this one. Car's okay. a little dirty, but I like this. I don't mind the wing. Um, like let's check. Shift knob, pretty cool. JDM is so yeah. that that's good. And we got the airlift controller mount on the vent. Pretty sweet. Again, I just like these cars. I like the interiors. I like the seats. The body styles look good. It's a clean overall car. It's a good era for Honda, I feel like. Yeah, definitely. And not only that, the black is actually really cool. When you see it up close, you can see all like the pearl and stuff in it. Yeah, it's got a lot of metal flake to it. All right. Not a lot of engine stuff done to this one. Not like the Subaru, because believe it or not, it's able to keep its factory engine because it's a f Honda. <laughs> Let's rate it. All right, now I'm gonna keep in mind before we rate this that he does have the carbon trunk going on. Yep. Um, he has the camber, camber arms, arms yeah. to pull in the rear a little bit and get that perfect fitment. But with that in mind, I'm rating it how it sits. Okay. Right now. Okay. 
three, two, one, seven, seven and, and a half. half. God Dude, we're on point. Quit copying me. Sorry. All right, next car. What am I thinking of? <laughs> Hot dogs. Uh, you're right. All right, we got the third car of the day, which is Aaron's from customer service. Again, helping you with all the wheel and tire fitments, all that good stuff. We also got new hats. 2013 Volkswagen GTI, but 2021. <laughs> Floral bucket hats. These are the the pot hats, baby. Pot flower hats. pot. <laughs> flower pot. Yeah, hats. that's what they're called. Flower pot hats. Let's go. Brand new. We just got them in, so we figured we'd throw them on instead of our other hats. Go pick one up. Fitmindustries.com. Anyways. All right. Let's dive into yeah, this thing. Yeah. So, classic Volkswagen fashion. We got the Rotiform OZRs on there. Fitment's pretty good. Jules, what do you think of those wheels on here? What do you What are you feeling? What do you? I feeling? do like them. I think I, honestly, like any rotiform can fit a GTI. I feel like, but these ones I do really like. Um, we got the Advan tires on there. Some meaty tires. Yeah, yeah. Some, there's some. Those meat. are some prize only, like some pretty big tires on there. And again, if you see it, it's just the slightest bit of poke. It's nothing bad, nothing crazy, but we do have a little bit of poke on this Fitment. Now, one of the unique features of this GTI is all right. oh, sorry. not all white. <laughs> we got like this forged carbon wrap type uh -huh. thing. <laughs> it breaks it up. It definitely makes it so like you spot this GTI, you know it's Aaron's. Yeah. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. I feel like it's very Audi R8-esque. You know how Audi feels about it? How they feel about it. Well, they didn't do it on the second gen R8. Oh, look at that one. Look at that. There's the R8. They stopped doing it. <laughs> now they just do a GTI. It's like Lambo doors, and they stopped putting Lambo doors on Lambos. Yeah, now we all look like fools. Yeah. All right, Jaws, I'm going to list off some of the mods okay. for you, all right? You listen to this? All right, yeah, all right we listen. got a stainless steel three inch catless downpipe. Oh, okay, okay. Um, we got the spool in boost pipe. Boost pipe. <clears throat> AWE CCB intake. Okay. R8 coil packs. That's why it's basically an R8. Got it. Then it all made, it's full circle now. <laughs> all right. Then we got uh, Four Seasons RSR Clutch, Boost okay. Dynamic Stage 2 Tune, okay. H&R Lowering Springs. All right. Hella Euro LED taillights. Okay, yep, yep. And yep. Duckbill Lip Spoiler. Yes. On some Yokohama Advan Apex V601 tires. We didn't touch on that. Whoa, that, this duck bill is Do you see how sparkly this is, cameraman? Holy <laughs> shit. I always thought this was wrapped the same yeah, like, but it material. Ain't. It ain't. It's But it ain't. <laughs> All right, That Jills. is wild. All right. Can you fist test this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. double. Double? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They uh -oh. look kind of small. Uh oh Push. Push. OK, OK. Oh. All right. All right. I see the downpipe come out the hood. You push too hard. Yeah. So didn't, <laughs> it did not pass the fist test, unfortunately. You tried your best. I seen you down there grunting and we we cut the footage, but Jaws was probably down there for a few hours. Sorry, I'm usually was, not like Was that. not able to pass the, the fit, 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 fist, fit, fist test. Anyways, I think the taillights look good. I like those. I honestly do like this kind of like duckbill yeah. that's on here, but I think I would just like everything more if it was just all white, have this white, Take the wrap off, do that white. Maybe you could do a black wrap on the roof. I've sure. seen some cars do that and pull it off. Looks pretty good. Uh, fitment, pretty good. You got some meats on there. It's a little pokey, but nothing crazy. Honestly, I think if you lower it down a little bit, it, it would come oh, in a Are tap. you talking about lowering springs? No, I'm oh. just saying like oh, with I the don't... natural camber, I think it would, it would come I mean, in a little bit. Yeah, or you could get some uh, camber plates on your struts and get some... Uh, Coil overs, and then just add a little bit of camera, yeah, and then it should be too. Gucci. It's not that bad though. We're nitpicking. All right, I think I'm ready to rate this thing. The interior is pretty stock. We got the bolt-ons that we mentioned. I would like to see some more low. I like V dubs cool dumped part, on yeah. the ground. The cool part is like these cars do really, really well with your bolt-ons. Then you upgrade yeah. that clutch, and they they they're a good like. Like if you're looking for a car to really kind of just modify and get the most out of your modifications, I think the GTI is going to yeah. be a ticket. Yeah, German engineering. German yeah, master approved. V Dub in the house. Oh, yeah. yeah. You remember those commercials? Oh, yeah. We've talked about it. Like, All right, let's rate it. Audi R8 on three. Wait, no, yeah. rating it on three. <laughs> One, two, three, seven, seven and a half. Wait, did we just? No, I said seven. Oh, okay. So I gave it a half point extra. And we didn't get all yeah. of them the same. Yeah. All righty. 
Well, that is reviewing our cars. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of our employee rides. If you want to see more, we have a whole parking lot full of them. So let us know in the comments. And don't forget, wheels, tire suspension that were mentioned in this episode, all on fitmanindustries.com, plus thousands more. So make sure to head on over there, check out the new bucket hats, the new apparel we got, all that kinds of good stuff, and then get your car added to the gallery so we can review it when you're not here. Fitmanindustries.com forward slash add or just how to...